Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we make a new playlist and it's about carbon capture, utilization and storage or CCUS. And it is a very interesting and important topic. So we create a new playlist for it, right? And it will be quite a long journey and we will break down our study materials bit by bit. So let's go ahead, right? Okay. So in this playlist, we will learn about first why we need CCUS. And we will also discuss CCUS in a nutshell, in a general view, and also technologies for CO2 capture and also subsurface CO2 storage. And lastly, we will conclude with key takeaways. All right. Okay. First section is about why do we need carbon capture, utilization, and storage? Okay. And talking about CCUS, we must first go from greenhouse gases. So what is greenhouse gases? Maybe you already understand what it is, right? Greenhouse gases are abbreviated by GHG, greenhouse gases. So they are gases that trap heat in the atmosphere. Okay, so you can see from this picture, this is our earth. And we receive heat from, of course, the sun. Okay. And some of the heat will be absorbed by the earth, of course. And some of them actually will be reflect to the space, to the open space. Okay. But because of the accumulation of these greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, many of those heat that should be reflected is now absorbed and trapped in the atmosphere. And what's the impact? Of course, the temperature of the earth will increase right, due to the trapped heat on the atmosphere, okay? And there are actually many greenhouse gases, like as you can see from this picture, carbon dioxide, CO2, and then methane, and also nitrous oxide, N2O, and also hydrofluorocarbons, perfluorocarbons, and sulfur hexafluoride, Right, there are many greenhouse gases, but when we look at the concentration or the amount of these gases in our atmosphere, the number one will be CO2, carbon dioxide. Why? It is related to the combustion reaction, right? We usually use hydrocarbon, oil, and gas to extract the energy from the chemical energy inside the this hydrocarbon, we burn that, okay, through combustion reaction to get the energy, okay, to move our machine. And of course, coming from this combustion reaction are CO2 and water, water vapor, H2O. So as you can see, now we produce CO2 due to this combustion reaction, and we release this CO2 to the atmosphere. And that's why our atmosphere now have high concentration, yeah, relatively high concentration compared to the other greenhouse gases, high concentration of CO2. And that becomes a problem, right? And it is believed that the increase of CO2 concentration later on will make a bad impact, which is climate change. And climate change is not a good thing it is a very, very dangerous thing. And as you can see from this picture alone, social and economic impact of climate change, okay? Let's look at them one by one. Let's learn together, okay? The cost of adapting coastal areas to rising sea levels, okay? So climate change will result in the increase or the rising of the sea level. It is not good because we should adapt, especially the coastal area should adapt due to these rising sea levels. Maybe they should move, maybe they should build buildings to, I don't know, to, to save the people from the rising sea levels, okay? And of course, it will take a lot of money. So from this alone, we should invest huge amount of money, right? Just to do coastal areas adaptation. And also loss of the capacity to work due to heat. Yeah, you understand that. If you, if you work 
in a situation that the temperature is very, very, very high, yeah, you lose a bit of capacity to work, maybe loss of concentration, all right, maybe fatigue, stress, and many, many things. So the loss of capacity to work due to heat, due to increased temperature. And maybe, of course, this is not a good thing, more worse to gain access to limited resources, maybe water, maybe land, maybe food, right? Because of the climate change, more worse can happen, okay? And also fresh water will be in short supply in some areas, okay? And because of this short supply, yeah, wars can happen, right? Of course, climate change will also result in lack of water, especially lack of drinking water. And also relocation of whole towns, especially if the town is nearby the rising sea levels, okay? So the people there should move to the other town that is higher in the elevation, of course. And also shrinking productivity of harvest, okay? Plantation is also very, very depend on the, the temperature, the climate, and because of this climate change, there will be shrinking productivity of harvest. And also prices of basic foodstuffs and consumer goods will rise. Of course, because of the, the lack of the resources, because of the shrinking productivity and the production of the harvest, right? Of course, this is not good and we should avoid that if we can. And extreme meteorological phenomena will cause widespread poverty. Poverty, right? So this is a huge problem. And lastly, last but not least, and this list is not exhaustive actually, diseases will spread due to higher temperature, okay? So climate change is really dangerous and we should avoid that. And that's why we really, really need CCUS even now, okay? And this is examples from United States alone from 2012 alone. So we can see snowpack in 2012, warm, wildfires, cold. Read the cold, coldest January on record in AK. Monthly average temperature in Beatles was minus 35.6 Fahrenheit. Snowiest winter in Anchorage with 134.5 inches, the thickness of the, the ice, right? The snow, oh, come on. Drought, flood, tornadoes, storms, hurricane Isaac, right? Post-tropical cyclone Sandy, storms, wet. This is the preliminary significant US weather and climate events in 2012. And of course, it has relation connectivity to climate change and climate change is related to the increase of CO2 concentration on the atmosphere, all right? So I think for now we can conclude. So this is the beginning of our CCUS topic. We discussed about greenhouse gases and also the impact on climate change and examples from United States, right? So. From here alone, we now understand that we really, really need carbon capture, utilization, and storage. All right. Thank you.